Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a major shortcoming of Xero and that is that it doesn't allow you to automatically email out uh, reports. So this is something that I've had to figure out a way around in my own businesses and with some uh, consulting clients. And yeah, it's a pretty easy hack and I'm just going to share it with you guys today. So let's jump in. Uh, you're going to need a few things. Oh, this is an example of the, the email that comes through. Uh, good ideas. I mean, like a lot of the guys I work with are uh, CFO firms. Um, but yeah, what you could do is uh, email the report and then you can customize the, sub, the, the text and be like, hey, here's my Calendly link. If you want to schedule a report, if you want to schedule a meeting to discuss anything that you found. And this is what the report looks like. Just straightforward. I mean, you could add some flair and some logos and anything basically that's on the uh, spreadsheet, you'll be able to see automatically over here. Sorry for the blurring. Um, I have to just unfortunately keep the information confidential. So, all right, uh, let's jump in back to Google Sheets. What you need to do is install a plugin called uh, Geocon. If you haven't uh, used it, it's an amazing tool for business, it uh, helps me with stock, uh, seeing live data reports from zero, uh, managing overdue bills, debtors, creditors. I use it extensively on the daily, and I think every business owner that is using zero should be using Geocon for zero. Uh, so, uh, what you do is install it. It's a app. You just uh, uh, add it from the uh, add-ons, and yeah. Then once you're in, you've got to sign in. I'm already signed in. And we're going to just load a basic standard report. In this case, I'm just going to do a profit and loss. All right, so select the report that we want to use. I'm just use basic profit and loss. Uh, I'm going to do last month. I'm going to do only one period and that is that for that screen. I don't want to create a new report. I don't want to make the a data table. Uh, cell A1 is fine. Deep links is fine. And report title, that's optional uh, probably. And then I suppose you would, if you add any formatting, like conditional formatting, say if you have, if profit is over this or if profit, profit is negative, then you might want to keep original formatting so that doesn't overwrite any formatting that you've done. But in this case, it's a plain one, so I don't need to do anything. The rest, uh, schedule is depreciated and multi-currency isn't relevant in this case. So I'm going to execute and just let that load up for a second. While that's loading, uh, always appreciate a like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, so here we've got the info. Uh, I'm just going to resize the columns to about 306 uh, and then delete all of these and the last thing I want to do is click on print just to see that it fits and in this case it is fitting nicely so next thing I want to so that's this is your live data straight from zero easy as that now next thing I want to do is schedule a automatic refresh so I have to come down here and do geocon and then create a workflow uh, workflow test test uh, templates this is the one we just created so I want to put pop that there then we want to do hourly is fine, I suppose. And you want to untick this, untick this generator log uh, because it's going to create another sheet. And then if you create another sheet, it's going to include it on the email report. Uh, next, uh, when it successfully refreshes. So you would probably put your own email here uh, as well as your your clients or you know business owners or founders or anything you know investors uh, would all go here subject would be hey here is the P and 
L. And if you have questions, uh, here is my Calendly link to schedule an appointment, something like that. Or uh, you wouldn't be able to, this, this has to be generic. So you put, maybe just put your email signature and, uh, you know, thanks for great service as clients or da da da. Um, here's my link, my phone number. Uh, or this is the person, your account rep, all of those things you could put in. And then you would just add the emails here, of course, as well. Uh, I'm going to put it as a portrait PDF. Um, so you could obviously, if it's a, if they need it for utility purposes, you could just do a CSV and then they could maybe upload it somewhere or uh, whatnot. But PDF works in this case quite nicely. And the rest I don't need to do. So I'm just going to apply and execute that. Then I have to refresh this. Uh, so now it's working. Now you're going to get those emails every three hours. <clears throat> Practically, you would probably set it, you know, for this kind of report, obviously don't bombard people every three hours unless you need to. But yeah, this would maybe you could maybe set it once a month on a certain day or every Friday um, or yeah, once a month, uh, up to you. So, uh, and now I can, and I have the option, option to execute current workflow now. So first it's going to refresh the data. And then when it successfully refreshes the data, it's also going to email me a copy of the report. So let's just give that a second to go through through. Okay. It has gone through. I think I should have clicked keep original formatting. Uh, so let's go check the mailbox. Okay, so I do have it. It came through uh, quite nicely, but it's uh, I would have rather had it on the original formatting. So I'm going to just go make a change again. Uh, I'm going to resize. 306, uh, quick uh, zero, I'm going to update this template, so this is the setting that we're looking for, uh, keep original formatting. Uh, update and execute that. Then, yeah, you can see now it's keeping the columns. And then also what I can do is show uh, grid lines. Get rid of those. I'm not a fan of grid lines. Now I can go back to the automations and uh, update... Uh, update, modify, delete workflows, and then I'm going to run it again, again, uh, just to check that it is producing the report I want it to produce. So in practicality, what you would have to do is unfortunately, I mean, you could have all your reports in one and then just send a link to the spreadsheet, uh, like profit and loss balance sheet, stock uh, inventory, whatever you want to report on. Uh, you wouldn't be able, the PDF doesn't work so nicely when you've got multiple uh, reports, but you'll have to just balance it out and see what you could also do is have it all in sort of one page But then you need to know where the the page is going to be cut off uh, using sort of a page view in in Google Sheets So there are some limitations, but this way works pretty well. Uh, you would have to set up every client uh, Which does take a bit of time, but once it's set up, it's pretty much recurring It's automated and you could add in some extra features. So let's just go check the uh, if that email came through and uh, we do have it here, I'm going to open that up and yeah, this is looking much better. So, and then, I mean, you could get rid of year to date if you didn't want that as well, but this is pretty much spot on. I think it's a really cool feature for clients to be utilizing. Um, for your clients or for any business owners or imagine like just sending this to your founders or your finances or investors um super helpful and it's a add-on for zero that doesn't exist yet 
uh, you know, a, a workaround for a feature that is a very popular, uh, popular requ very requested feature in Zero. All right, guys. So uh, I'm Andy. I help with uh, business tips, getting businesses off the ground, helping uh, people learn what I had to learn the hard way, and making it easy for you guys along the way. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll check you guys soon.